we are asked to simplify the given rational expressions. It's important to remember when simplifying rational expressions, we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. For example, here, it may be tempting to try to simplify the negative 12 and 3, but we cannot do this because we cannot simplify across this addition. When simplifying rational expressions, we simplify the numerator and denominator completely, then perform the division indicated by the fraction bar. If it's helpful, we can think of having parentheses around the numerator and denominator. Simplifying the numerator, we begin by simplifying the square root of nine. The square root of nine is equal to three because nine is equal to three times three, if we want three squared, and the square root of three squared is equal to one factor of three. And therefore this simplifies to the quantity negative 12 plus three divided by three. Still simplifying in the numerator, negative 12 plus three is equal to negative nine, giving us negative nine divided by three. And now we perform the division, negative nine divided by three is equal to negative three. The given expression simplifies to negative three. Looking at the next expression, again we cannot simplify the 30 and the 10 here because we cannot simplify across the subtraction. So again, if it's helpful, we can think of having parentheses around the numerator and denominator. Simplifying the numerator, we begin by simplifying the square root of 100. The square root of 100 is equal to 10 because 100 is equal to 10 times 10. If we want 10 squared, and the square root of 10 squared is equal to one factor of 10. The expression simplifies to the quantity 30 minus 10 divided by 10. Still simplifying in the numerator, 30 minus 10 is 20, which gives us 20 divided by 10. 20 divided by 10 is equal to two. The given expression simplifies to two. I hope you found this helpful.